Welcome to Chumak TV! This is my attempt to record Path of Exile playthrough as a physical damage marauder tank assassin in the Hardcore Delirium League. It's not a meme build or a speedrun, in fact I will be actually taking time to appreciate small things about the game and even listen to all the dialogues to actually try and keep up with the story. Even so, this is not a raw footage. I would imagine that people have better things to do than watching someone grind through Path of Exile in real time. Although watching a big dude annihilating mobs can look pretty satisfying. With that said, there will be some edited moments. Anyway, if you wanted to see Marauder in action but didn't want to play it yourself, or if you wanted to see how someone who doesn't really know the meta will play the game, or if you're new to the game and just curious, you might like this type of content. Do you think you are savage enough to face the land of the damned, Marauder? We offered you truth, yet still you clasped your superstitious lies. We offered you service, yet you wasted your strength and defiance. Rayclast offers you something else. Yeah, he doesn't care. An education in true savagery. I'm gonna go for straightforward tank physical damage build. I'm gonna be the tankiest bodybuilder on the whole island. Now I need a fitting name for it too. Alright, here I am. Washed out. Washed out Rock Dwayne Johnson. I'm actually surprised I could get this name. <laughs> okay, let's get out of Driftwood Club and see what's happening here. Are you good? Damn, <laughs> Rock Twain Jones has been smoking for <laughs> for past 20 years. <coughs> oh no, that was him. Uh, you and I, we're the only ones that made it to shore alive anyway. Uh, looks like you found something you can defend yourself with. Good, this place is cold. Oh, hungry corpse. <laughs> oh my god, my attack speed just sucks. The dead should remember their place. Exactly. Exactly, Rock. You tell them. Oh! Keep forgetting. Heavy strike. Alright, let's see. Oof, my basic attack looks so underwhelming. I missed. Oh my god, it feels so good playing melee champion. It's interesting because these guys, oh my god, just yikes, so much gore. Um, the first guy I killed was called Hungry Corpse, but these guys are called Drowned. Drowned? Uh, just Drowned, yes. But how did I know it was Hungry? I have zero life regen. Iron Hat, sure, thank you. This is basically a pot on my head. Perfect. Large chest. Ruthless support. What does it do? Alright, so every first strike. One, two, three. Right? Did it just happen or not? Every third time, the skill would be more powerful. Ruthless bro Blow does more damage, more bleeding, and also stuns for 0.8 seconds. Just pure physical. That's what I plan to do in this playthrough anyways, after playing some of the Templar caster. I want to get up close and personal to... Oh. Perfect. Oh my goodness, I'm all I'm all all nice and dandy in my armor now. Oh my god. Their damage still hurts. 38% damage reduction. Huh. I live to see another dawn. Man, the voice sounds so freaking nice. I thought it was gonna sound like rough, but it sounds calm and collected. I feel like uh, I'm not playing a savage who just hits his cell on the head with a hammer like in main menu, but I'm playing some collected calm warrior. Oh, that's
let's see, look. Okay, I guess... I don't even know when my super strike, the ruthless strike gets out. Well, this takes a while. Oh, it stunned him! My mana is gone. My mana is gone, oh my god, this... His voice makes me want to play him as a chieftain. Because his voice is so freaking calm. But I must remember that... I need to follow the damn build, otherwise I'm gonna do some weird stuff and not do anything specific holy shit look at its tattoos freaking savage okay sure let's do damage you finally got the big end. at least the whole first part of the game is damage is more important than survivability it's after fighting the the big guy, that's when it becomes very hard to survive without any points in the damage. Uh, any points in the survivability, like armor and health. I wanna be as brain dead as possible with this build. Just pure damage, physical damage, armor and health and resistances. No energy shield to worry about, little mana to worry about. Oh goodness, but all the lag to worry about. It's been like this the whole time. Fine work with Hillock. Where'd you learn to fight like that? No, forget I asked. We exiles have no history. Dominus took it from us when he had his blackguards dump us in the water out there. Here, got something for you. Should help you kill a few more of those undead bastards. I don't bother thanking me. The way I figure it, the longer we fighters live, the longer everyone lives. Nice. Ground slam. Molten strike. Well, I'm going for poor physical damage, so... Farewell. Goodbye, my friend. Talamoana, Marauder of Namakanui. No need to be surprised, Karui. My father and I were among those who tried to save your people from ignorance and damnation. My father paid for his arrogance with his life. I'm still paying for mine. I'm Nessa, and I suppose I should thank you for ridding us of Hillock, that putrid giant you felled out there. Be careful in the days to come. Karui savagery is nothing when compared with the ferocity. Lion Eyes Watch isn't much, but it's ours. We could use you here, while you live. But should you wish to venture out, do just one thing for me. Out on the coast, amongst the wrecks, there must be a ship's medicine chest. I have many to care for. And there's only so much I can do with herbs and seawater. A mighty marauder, marooned on a moribund mainland. That's the first line of the poem I'm writing about you, Exile. Easy, then. You could gut a bloke with a look like that. The name's Bestel, captain of the good ship Merry Gull. Unless my Merry Gull is gone. There's an island, a hop skip and a wade offshore of the terraces. That's where my merry girl ran aground. Watch the locals spit roast the ship's doctor, but his medicine chest might still be there, amongst the splinters and bones. It'd have everything Nessa might need. Dr. Shaky Hands Opton was lousy with a scalpel and even worse with a saw, but he knew his apothecary. Explains the shaky hands, if you ask me. All right, then. Is it choice that carries you here, or is it fate? I see a need in you. A need to peer into your future. A need to follow the right path. But your future has already been cast. So open your mind and embrace it. Long ago, my people called me a Hatungo, a wise woman. Now they call me a revenant. But it is not my fate to return to the Mother of Death just yet. For now I stand with one foot in this world, and the other foot in the realm of the dead. I'm an inquirer of the living, and an interpreter of death. I sense you have questions. For a gift of silver, I will answer them. 
But you seek more than a... Blue tendrils entangle in change. All that remains is gold. Okay, sure. Alright, as you can see, here's all my <laughs> loot, so I don't even have to bother really with finding new loot, but I still want to have a nice time playing through and trying to provide for myself and not try to get things from my other character. Well, that was the first intro episode of the series. I will try to figure out the format as I go. And this is just the first attempt, and next time we're gonna see... Probably from the first area till the necromancer. It's gonna be in the second episode and then after that uh, what follows after. Thank you for watching.